Welcome arithmetic ninjas to adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominators. Now the only difficulty here is we do have some adds and some subtracts. But all the denominators are still the same. So 1 ninth plus 4 ninths is like saying 1 helicopter plus 4 helicopters. We are doing a plus. So 1 helicopter plus 4 helicopters is 5 helicopters where the unit is helicopters. So 1 ninth plus 4 ninths is 5 ninths where the unit is ninths. Question 7 is a takeaway. So it's like saying 6 rabbits take away 2 rabbits would be 4 rabbits where the unit is rabbits. So 6 elevenths take away 2 elevenths is 4 elevenths where the unit is elevenths. Question 17. 7 over 2 is another way of saying 7 halves. Because if it was 1 over 2, you'd say 1 half. So 7 over 2 is 7 halves. 7 halves take away 1 half. It's basically going to be 6 halves. It makes loads of sense if you just write that out. 7 halves take away 1 half is 6 halves. And 6 halves will be written as 6 over 2. Now they don't like you leaving an improper fraction with the bigger number on top. If you can actually work that out exactly and six and six divided by two is exactly three. So what we're really looking for there is that the answer is three. Seven halves take away one half is exactly three whole ones. Question number twenty. We've got ninety-nine hundredths plus nine hundredths. Well, ninety-nine cars plus nine cars would be ninety-nine plus 9 is 108 cars, where the unit is cars. So 99 hundredths plus 9 hundredths is 108 one hundredths, where the unit is one hundredths. But again, that is correct. There is going to be a remainder of that one. So you could actually leave it. If there is a remainder, you can leave it as an improper fraction. If there's not a remainder, like with 6 divided by 2, you have to change it into the whole number. But 108 divided by 100 is basically one lot of 100 will go in there with 8 left over. And because we're dealing with hundredths, it's 1 and 8 hundredths, which is also an acceptable answer. You could even go a stage further and call that 1 and 4 fiftieths. Or even a stage further and go 1 and 2 twenty fifths. Any of those answers are acceptable. For the final question, we've got another takeaway. So we've got 13 sevenths take away 1 seventh. So we could say 13 fish take away 1 fish would be 12 fish, where the unit is fish. So 13 sevenths take away 1 seventh is 12 sevenths, where the unit is sevenths. That's an improper fraction, so you can leave it like that. Or you could go a stage further, which you'd be expected to do in year 7. And go 12 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 5. And because we're dealing with 7, it's 1 and 5 7. Either of those two answers would be correct. Now we've had a go at questions 1, 7, 17, 20 and 21. It's up to you to go back and have a go at the rest. Good luck.